28 years old, making his 20th start. Swing and a miss, and Musgrove. Swing and a miss, make flops. Maybe just a suspension, as striking out is Tapia. It's a third strikeout. Strike three call. Swing and a miss, and Musgrove will. Swing and a miss, and Nunez strikes out. That's six strikeouts for Joe Musgrove. 0 2, and he is squaring, and he strikes out. There he goes. Swing and a miss, and Tapia strikes out. Senior numbers. 0 2 pitch is swung on and missed. Swing and a miss, and make it 10. About five in a row, two down in the sixth inning. 0 2, and a swing and a miss. That's 11 Ks for. Padres have a one nothing lead. That's K number 11 for no no Joe home runs. And there's a shot into right center field. That baby's going to get out of here. Home run right center field for Meadows. And the Rays jump out against Garrett Cole. And the Rays put up a four spot with nobody out. We're rolling breaking goal. There just was not a whole lot on that pitch. And at the curveball and the curveball is just rolling. It stays up. It stays recognizable. And Austin Meadows, who hit a similar pitch out at Yankee Stadium in Cole's last start against the Rays, pretty much the same spot. Austin Meadows, two for three on the day. And the Rays have just blasted this one wide open. There's a shot to right field off the bat of Meadows, and that one is going to get out of here. Austin, a two run shot on the 2 2 pitch. His second home run of the day, number 20 on the year. And the Rays tack on two more. It's 14 to nothing. Tampa Bay. Another fastball thrown right into the swing. Austin Meadows, I'll tell you, it has been either well off the plate or right down the middle for Abreu. I have not seen a stretch like this. 95 to 100 miles an hour, devastating split finger and nasty slider. With a 3 2, that's a good pitch. Strike three on the out. Baseball. 2 2 pitch, nasty. good. Angels really didn't get much there. 1 2 pitch and Mayfield. And the youngster's hitting just 220. Here's the 1 2. Swing and a miss. Got him on a split. And that's it for Marsh. He's down. Fastball and he got a forcing grip. You don't feel that. Oh, great pitch right there. That's a fastball. Swing and a miss, and there's the splitter. 88 miles an hour. And there it is. Swing and a miss. And that is 10 strikeouts for Frankie Montas. Fourth time this year he has had 10 plus Ks. He has been in complete control tonight. Four nothing A's as we go to the eighth. And a 2 0 pitch. Swung on line to right center. There's a base hit. Into the right center field. Ali Soto sliding across the grass stops it, and that'll keep Bohm at first base. Around to third is McCutcheon. Miller scores. To JT with the bases loaded. Philly's down two. And the pitch. And a hot shot towards short. Past the diving Escobar. Here comes Bohm. He'll score. No, 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 no. He just sailed it. The runners move up. The Phillies have come all the way back down seven to tie it at seven. Like I said, don't try to elevate, try to be a hero and hit a home run. A base hit will do it with Bowman. We're going to the eighth. It's a 7 7 game. Bases are loaded in an 8 7 game. Tying runners at third, winning runners at second. Miller is up. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Wow. It's going to go, and this game <laughs> is over. It is a walk off grand slam for Brad Miller and the a stunning end here at Citizens Bank Park as Brad Miller reaches home plate and slam. And Austin, the birthday boy, said the Phillies were going to win this one. That ball went off the life brand sign in the second deck, the facade of the second deck. That certainly gave the Phillies some life big time. Did they ever need that?